Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about how to use your right hand grip rules to determine the forces that acted on a moving charge. So now, let's begin. So before we start our lesson today, so I will show you this diagram. So what does that mean? So through my diagram, when I have this horizontal line, it means that x-axis which is to the left and also to the right well for your y-axis it means upwards and downwards moving up or moving down and then there is, a, there is an extra axis which is your z-axis your z-axis so if your arrow is like this which means that the motion is pointing up and then if your arrow is like this the motion is pointing in okay what does that mean so if you have things like this this is your x and this is your y axis okay horizontal x axis and y axis so your z axis will be like this which is moving out and moving in moving out and moving in okay if your diagram is like this your z axis is pointed like this way so it will be directed inward or into the page well for this way it is directed out of the page or directed out okay so now we know that forces that act on a moving charge is actually denoted by v v cross b so v is actually your velocity of your moving charge V is the direction of your magnetic field. So when we say V cross B is is an vector product. So V first we refer to the first quantity which is V. So your four fingers were pointed to V, the direction of your V first, and then B cross B means you cross like this in ninety degree direction so when you say v cross b so this is your direction of your v first you have to direct your finger into the direction of the v first and then you cross b cross like this 90 degree and of course your thumb is always 90 degree to your fingers okay so now i can show you the fifth first example so let's begin in the first example so for a moving charge there are two type of charge the first one is positive charge so when we say positive charge the thumb is always pointed uh, the direction of your force okay now we begin so v cross b so we put our fingers to v first the direction of the v is in right hand side so we'll put like this right hand and then you will notice that your B is directed upward. So how do you cross your finger upwards like this? No. So we move our palm into this direction upwards. Okay. Can you see? So this one is your B. And then when your B is directed upward, just move your palm into the direction upwards like this. Then you cross your B. You see? V cross B then you will get your thumb which is directed outwards okay which is directed outwards so means that the forces is directed outwards okay the forces for this first example for positive charge is directed outwards so this point means outwards indicates outwards so what if the same direction of your negative charge moving and the direction of your magnetic field acted same as your first positive charge so you still use your right hand grip rules okay this is direction of your V for your negative charge V and then it directed upward for your B so your palm put upwards and then you cross V cross B so still your thumb is moving out but because of the negative charge so the forces is directed opposite to your thumb 
means that the force is actually inwards because it's pointed outwards. So the direction of the force that acted on the negative charge would be inward. So you will get an inward force acted on E on the negative charge. Okay, so for an inward force, so we indicate it with a cross symbol. Okay, now look at example two. So if you have example two like this, a positive charge is still moving to the right, and then B is pointing inwards or into the page. So how do you use your right hand rules? So first, V cross B, so imagine your V is pointed to the right, and then B is cross. Cross, so your palm is inwards. So now you can cross like this, V cross B. See, your B is going into the page. V going right, cross B into the page, and your thumb show you the upwards direction. So it means that your F is upwards. So your, for this case, the forces is acted upwards of the positive charge. While for the negative charge, we do it again. V is acted to moving to the right, and the B is into the page. So V cross B, V cross B, and then still your forces is acted upward. But because of the negative charge here, so your thumb show is actually the opposite of your force. So for negative charge, your forces is acted downwards. Okay, your forces is acted downwards. So it's clear. Okay, now we move on to the third example. Okay, now the third example is still with a positive point charge. So still a positive point charge. Okay, now for this case, uh, all is referred to my first diagram for this one. So this is actually the Z axis, which is moving up. So we know that V is moving up. So how do you show your, use your right hand rules to direct it outwards? So directed upwards mean like this, okay? Put your hand like this, so this is your directed upwards. And then B is moving down. So I will change my positions. So this is like this, moving up, and then B is moving down. So put your palm like this and then cross down, okay? I repeat, V is moving up, B is moving down. So V cross B, V cross B. So your thumb show you the direction to the right. So you will get your example for your positive charge which experience the forces that acted to the right. So you get this one. Okay, now for the example four, so for this case now, we will put that to my previous diagram. So this one is moving in. So which means that now your velocity, the point charge is moving in. The negative charge is moving in. So how do you show using your right hand rules? The V is moving in. So pointed to your fingers, four fingers pointed into the page. And then now V is moving down. So moving down, just turn your palm here and then you're moving down your fingers and you will get a left hand side. Your F is acted to the left, but be careful because now it's the negative charge. So your forces is, force is actually pointed to the opposite to your thumb. So I repeat, this one is V, V is moving in. So V into the page cross B downwards, cross B downwards, so your thumb show you the direction to the left, but because of the 
negative point charge so it will opposite to your thumb direction so your F is actually directed to the right hand side sorry so you will get the example four for this one is directed to the right okay clear so if you clear you can just uh, test it for your own so i give you some exercise that eight questions so you try it out and then you pause for your video for a while later i will show you the answer so can you look at this clearly okay so this is the first first two eight questions so if you get what i mean and you understand it i think you have no problem for this eight questions so just test it out okay are you ready so i want to show you the answer so this is the answer for your eight questions okay have you got it all right okay so see you in the next video thank you